So now I had no right brake even before taking off. Hi there, Darren again. I have my new Tundra tyres on and judging by the mud that is on the outside of these tyres, I have actually taken it for a fly. Unfortunately, I had the GoPro on my forehead and it was really pointing up way too high. I've got a lot of footage of up, fuel tanks, that type of thing. I'll interject and just sort of throw parts of that footage into this particular video as we move along through it. But I'll explain a bit about, obviously, the Tundra tyres I've done in a previous, but what I haven't explained is the plate that I had to use the spacer to get the disc brake out from the inside of the tyre. So the calipers were not going to be rubbing on the tyre itself, even under tyre flexing on a, on a solid land. What I started with was a piece of hardwood and it was roughly about this particular size. I didn't know how I was going to do it, all I knew was I was going to experiment with it. From the hardwood, have somebody turn out an aluminium spacer for me. Starting with a hole saw, went halfway through the, the timber itself. Spade bit did the same right in the centre and then I used a jigsaw, a, a sabre saw, to cut around the outside. That then lifted off, leaving me with the very basics of a spacer. I then placed the disc rotor on top, make sure it's very, very central to the hole in the middle. After that was done, I got my bolts. Obviously I needed longer bolts than came with the Azusa light wheel, so I picked some of those up from the hardware store. Put the bolts in, nipped it all up, spinning the wheel. I just had to make sure that there was no shimmy. In. I did have shimmy initially, and I found out that the, the hubs, when I put them together, there's room for movement on the hubs. So it meant loosening off the bolts that went through, lining the hubs up, tighten them up a little bit, the three bolts that go through, give it a spin and see how that looked. Once I was happy that it wasn't shimming away, I then went through and I tightened them all up quite strongly. And that's how that worked out quite well. I had to do that again, of course, after I put the tyres on and inflated those tyres. But it did work, ultimately it did work. Taxing along, it takes more force to slow the aircraft down on the brake lever itself. Now in so doing, I managed to pull the cable wasn't done up quite tightly enough on this particular side. So before I'd even taken off, I'd already pulled the cable through a little bit. I really didn't have much braking on the right hand side. I figured I'd need braking anyway for taxiing around the ground handling. So now I had no right brake even before taking off. I was fine with that. I only need to use the left brake to do a bit of a U-turn at the top of the runway there before taking off. Not really needing brakes to pull up because it just pulls up anyway. Did my circuits, came around, landed. When I pulled up, I was able to use the brake, and yes, it, it did stop me just the left hand one. A lot more pressure than I had needed normally with the previous wheels, but that's okay. It's something I'll get used to, and I rarely, rarely, rarely use brakes anyway on the runway or even on the taxi base itself. It's only when I'm at the front here, I'm turning around, or I'm turning around at the top of the runway itself. Now, I've been that happy with the spaces in hardwood timber that right now, I'm leaving them. I'm not going to mess with it at all. They track nicely. The wheels were rotating quite freely in flight. There was no shimmy to speak of. Uh, occasionally, you feel the vibration because they just wanted to keep going, 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 going in flight. So I pulled the brakes on and stopped. And any sort of vibration also stopped with that. In keeping with the black theme of the aircraft, I spray painted the spaces also black. They fit quite nicely, all bolted up. They really do look like it good part of the aircraft itself. I'll give you a bit of a look at it right now. So there's the spacer in there. Maybe a bit hard to tell, but it's there. It's black, locking nuts, the disc. These are the screws that went through and right there is where the axle goes through. And there's a spacer between the axle and the bearing of the, uh, of the Zeus light wheels itself. It's the, the brake. It's just a very, very basic BMX type brake caliper setup, more than sufficient for what I'm using on the aircraft itself. That's it for the Spacer video. I'm now going to go straight to the post-flight video that I did that discusses very briefly what it's like to fly with these Tundra tyres. Very first impressions. Hope you enjoy it. Well, the Tundra tyres work. They work really, really well. Can feel it gripping on the landing though. I say though, I can feel it gripping on the landing. All good.
First couple of circuits on the Tundra tyres. Take off, fine. Rolling resistance, it rolls so much more. Needs more brakes to, uh, to pull it up. Um, take off, climb seems to be about the same. Um, in terms of speed, it's probably a bit draggier on the, on the downwind. I was at max throttle about 55, close to 60 miles an hour that is. Not too far off what I do. Once I pull the power back to that, I don't know, I'll re look at it um, down the track, but 24, 27, that was about 45 miles an hour. Not that different to what I was doing beforehand. I'll have to go back through the videos and have a look, but I don't know. I, I, I can't say I notice a lot of difference. I do notice difference on landing. Um, there's no suspension in it anymore, as you can see, no springs there. The tyres perform all the suspension work for it. But the, um, you know, last landing, it was, it was firm, but it absolutely took it not jarring like it is with the, uh, with the previous wheels and suspension setup. So they're doing their job. They are my suspension. On touchdown, you can absolutely feel it grip. Uh, nothing too severe. It's not like it's skidding or anything, but you, it, you feel that arresting of speed. Again, it's not, it's not bad, it's just something I'm not used to. I didn't go on the grass at all. Um, it been very wet around here. Uh, I didn't even taxi it on. I just thought I'll try it on the, uh, on the main runway. And look, honestly, I'm, I'm thrilled. Ran it through puddles on the way back to see how it felt. Again, non-jarring. I would call it a success. All I can say is keep building, keep flying. See ya. That's it for the space of video. We're now going to go. Oh. That's it for the. That's it for the spaces. Now I'm going to go straight to the post. <laughs> That's about all I've got.